What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the second part of this double review with the Swedish legend Freddy Jungberg. Um, I will link um, the first part of the review which was Robert Perez down below. Like I said earlier in the other video guys, I do have these guys in an all Arsenal side because of their success at Arsenal and especially because of their roles played in a team known as the Invincibles. Um, so in my favorite formation, the 4-3-3 fourth variation, I have Jungberg, Perez and the rest um, is a full Arsenal side. I had good success with this team and in six games I only lost once. Uh, Jungberg is a real uh, pacey right-sided player and I have played with him on past FIFAs. He played well for me but didn't have the success that he's had for me on past FIFAs. Um, but I'll get into the pros and cons of Jungberg later. Uh, let's go ahead and look at his face card stats. 85 pace, 81 shot, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, and 75 physical. Um, a pretty well-balanced card. Most of those stats uh, right along the 80 overall. Um, he also has a medium-medium work rate with a 4-star weak foot and 3-star skill moves. Now, I only had 3 goals with 1 assist in 6 games played, and that was because often there were times where I felt like Jungberg was kind of lost back on defense a little too much. Um, this was probably as a result of his medium-medium work rate and him being out of his natural position, which is the right midfield position. That being said, like Perez, I don't think Jungberg is as effective as a winger, but more as a right midfielder. But now we're going to go ahead and take a look at his in-game stats and then the highlights thereafter. Freddie Lumberg's in-game stats, guys. 87 attack position, 84 acceleration, 87 reactions, 85 sprint speed, 86 stamina, um, along with 84 ball control, 84 dribbling, 85 finishing, 84 short pass. Uh, he has the 4-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, medium-medium work rate. Um, he doesn't have any specialities, but he does have the injury-prone trait, which isn't good. Um, but he does have the finesse shot trait as well. Um, Lumberg is a very good winger, guys. He will definitely get up and down the wings for you. So we're going to go ahead and get into some gameplay now. And before I get into the pros and cons, I just want to talk a bit about Freddy. I mean, he was obviously a part of the famous Arsenal side, um, the Invincibles. But he was also very successful on the international level with Sweden, where he was the captain and had 75 caps. Uh, let's, go, let's go ahead now and get into the pros and cons. My first pro for this card is his pace. Jungberg can flat out fly, and when he gets into open space, it's hard for defenders to catch him. Sadly, his pace isn't as effective on FIFA 16 as it was on 15, um, as FIFA 16's gameplay is overall slower, as I see, say in pretty much every video. Although I still fee, feel Jungberg's pace only adds the benefit of his card. I wish his defensive rate was low so he could save that pace to push forward. I could only imagine how deadly he'd be. Second is his crossing. You'll see in some of the highlights, some of his crosses were just completely on the money and he was giving awesome service to my striker and Perez. It's always good to have a tall striker with Jungberg like Welbeck who I had. Having someone who was good at heading would be crazy good threat to go with Jungberg's superb crossing. I've become a huge fan of ground crosses on this FIFA, and Jungberg executed one perfectly to set up a goal, as you'll see in the highlights. Third is his shooting. Jungberg has a very powerful shot, and in the first game I played with him, it only took him 13 minutes to long-range snipe one off the bar and in. Um, this leads to numerous, um, or led to numerous long-range attempts from for me, um, and he was close to hitting a few more. He's also very effective close range. It's very hard to stop a 1v1 shot from Freddy because of his power that he hits the ball with. Now, I actually have two cons for Youngberg, and one of them, like Perez, could have possibly been my fault. On Perez's review, um, I harped on his stamina. Well, Youngberg actually had plenty of stamina. He's just a true right midfielder, and I played him up on the wing to give him a better chance to score. His positioning was terrible, and I felt as though he was lost on defense sometimes during the game. Um, like I said, this could have been my fault, or perhaps the medium-medium work rate. Just pushes him back on D farther than I'd like him to be. This takes away from his biggest strength, in my opinion, that's running on the attack, as opposed to running to get back on the attack. Um, second is his three-star skill moves. I've hit this one um, on other reviews about having low-star skill moves, and I think that it just helps when you're on the wing to be able to make those extra moves to get in and set up a better opportunity for the player or the team. Um, this is going to take me into the overall summary of Freddie Jungberg, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, Freddie deserves a 7.5 out of 10 matching my lowest legend rating so far, which was Ryan Giggs. His pros and cons are listed, as well as the goals and assists in the games I had played. Uh, Jungberg was still a blast to play with. I just unfortunately didn't think he was as effective um, as he was on past FIFAs. His positioning almost takes away from his strengths, which are his pace, crossing, and electrifying shot. 
Up next in my reviews is Henrik Larsson, who I'm not sure if I want to keep Lundberg um, to pair with or not. And then we have Louis Figo, Michael Owen, Gattuso, Lalas, and then there's going to be even more that have been requested. But those are going to be the ones that I'm going to hit in order right now. Um, it is going to be a very busy week, like always, guys, but I will try to get out as many as I can. Um, this is the second upload in a day, which is pretty good. Um, feedback is always appreciated. And if you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. I appreciate you guys checking out my view. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.